In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to animate using Puppet 3D. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little animation of this um, demo guy um, jumping and um, swinging on this tree. Um, so to begin with, we're just going to set up the character. So firstly, I uh, don't want to see the bones, so we're going to hide the visibility of them. Also, it's a good idea to just select one of the bones, and just collapse the script, it just stops it from being accidentally selected. Um, next thing we want to do is actually um, take the character and put it on a, a layer that's locked, just so that we don't end up selecting it. So here I put in a transparent effects layer, just put it locked. Um, and the last thing I want to do is actually break the prefab instance, which um, allows you to select the controls easily without by mistake selecting the prefab itself. So let's just do that. And so now you'll see I'll be able to actually select each of the controls um, easily. Okay, and now that's what I need to do to set it up. Um, we're going to start, uh, so firstly, um, we're going to set up the um, idle pose so we, uh, so we have it so we can add it to any animation. So what I'm going to do is um, in the animation window, I'm going to get to this position um, and basically go into the animation uh, tab. I'm going to select all the controls. Ah, actually there's one last thing I wanted to do. It's just um, turn off the um, mesh collider so I don't so we don't see it like as, as we select everything. Um, also just to sort of point out, I've also put any, everything else in the world, in the scene on, on the locked layer. That helps um, not sort of selecting things in the scene. So here we go. So we've got um, got everything. I'm going to not select the global control, and uh, so these are all the controls. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the idle pose, and which is these these animations were already done, um, and they automatically work on your character when you rig when you use auto rig. So I'm going to go save selection, and what that does is um, it creates a um, a pose which can just can be easily loaded, um, and also gives you the ability to sort of um, to uh, select all the controls so if I select them all I can kind of just reset them um, just do it again yeah and then the um, yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to make create the jump animation so let's create a new clip on him uh, let's call it um, maybe jump and swing okay so um, it's been in record mode let's just lock it so we don't take the off it okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to load the pose and then um, select all the controls and um, just going to uh, press uh, K. Actually, uh, for the first time, you want to just kind of um, add keys. And um, so, yeah, that'll, that'll, that should have uh, keyed everything. So, um, now as a um, bit of a tip, I, I like to sort of say to sort of um, keyframe every single control whenever you do a pose it makes it much easier to can like handle all your uh, controls and obviously all of your curves and everything so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the anticipation so let's get him actually I'm going to select the, the upper body and lower body so he's going to bend down like this Just seen his hands. Um, currently, uh, this is new features. Um, we've got like um, driven keys for the hands, so um, yeah, these aren't actually uh, set saved in the selection at the moment. But it's a future thing to add. So I'm just going to keyframe this. Uh, the hands closed because I think his idol has his hands closed. So he's going to kind of just bend down. I'm going to just do a very quick animation here. It's not going to be beautiful, but so um, okay. So let's just say that maybe just bend his. Uh, Slides his head. Okay, so basically select all the controls and press K. And that's um, that does an anticipation. And then uh, let's do maybe let's do a so we're going to lift. We can do it like a jump. Okay. For the rest of this uh, bit of tutorial, I'm just going to uh, play it a bit faster, so you can just uh, just watch me animating.
Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to um, add it to timeline. So firstly, let's um, create a new game object in the scene. So let's just reset it, um, call it timeline. And I'm just going to create an animation here. And uh, let's just remove this. It's going to add um, Demo Man as an animation track. Um, and let's put his um, his walk animation in there. Yeah, so it's maybe two, three times. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add him in again, and I'm going to use this to move him around. So let's just um, let's record it, and let's put him back. Bit of of space there and let's get him in about there let's see let's see how he's sp speed of him okay I need to be f oh yes yeah, so we're going to just uh, flatten those curves and I'm going to um, put it on auto yeah yeah that's okay um now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a um, idle. Oh, actually, let's put this the jump. Let's go straight into the jump and swing. So, so yeah. Um, so now let's actually let's bring back in the. Um, I'm just going to lock this here, and I'm going to bring back in the tree. You see, we've got a rig tree here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it so when he lands on it, it's going to put put some kind of um, pressure onto the branch and pull the tree a bit so um, so let's just add the tree to the timeline as an animation track and let's press record on both of them okay so so maybe um, let's move the tree around actually firstly let's get in a better place okay um so here we had um this, this is where he um so we're gonna keyframe this sky over here You know what, I'm just going to move it over a bit, the tree. So. so let's just move it so he kind of moves down a bit as it, so. And then we can do a keyframe of this. So, oh, I forgot to record. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, let's break the prefab and sit on this game plan. Prefab, I mean. So it's like that. Okay. 